Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Hello to my friends out there in YouTube land. This is Crom DeWine, my friend Mo. Uh, we're doing a special little video just for our friend Ghost Critic out of the UK. He wanted to see some uh, Dell TV titles. So I thought I'd just bring a few out. I don't have a lot of TV titles. I'm more into the cartoons. But I've got a few. Like uh, Leave It To Be, where I just recently picked up. You want to see the inside. Inside has a nice picture of Wally and the Beef. The, the date is 1961. And it's a fairly nice shaped comic. Just storylines, just like the TV show. Wally and Beef just hanging out. Beeb getting in trouble, and good old Eddie Haskell coming to visit. My favorite character on that old show. But this is what the inside is like, just little stuff going on, trying to help mom, doing the laundry, doing other chores, ruining everything he's doing. He thinks his mother's got tired nerves from a commercial that he watched on TV. Just a regular old show. That's just the storyline there. The second story is on, being, on uh, dealing with a bully. It's actually kind of a uh, humorous story where he just does things back to this bully. Like fills a football up with water. So it squirts him and when he tries to kick it, it hurts his foot. Embarrasses him and actually the stories are fairly short, but they're also humorous. It's a nice um mid grade copy. Nice shape, pages are supple. Just looks like the old show. Very, very nice nice comic. Just turn some of these pages here so you can have a quick look for Mr. Ghost Critic. I won't be too long because I've got a few to show fairly quickly. And the last page is just a little black and white blur, but it's a nice comic and it's one at the back as well. Yeah, it's the characters are actually fairly well drawn and you have a nice photo cover on the front. The other one here is I'm Dickens, He's Fenster. It's issue number one. It's also an early 60s, 1963. It was a short-lived TV series with Marty Ingalls and John Astin. It's actually a, a very funny comic, this one. They get into a lot of problems, a lot of trouble. The carpenters, they invent things. Much like the TV show. But anything with John Astin is actually quite interesting because you remember him from the Adams family. He was Gomez. The uh, drawings in this is actually fairly realistic to what they actually look like. And that's that's quite interesting. Marty Ingalls, as if you, some of you might know, was, uh, is still married to Shirley Jones from the Partridge family. But this is a, a nice comic. Got some now, the humor is actually very funny. It's like the TV show. And that's one thing I like about the Dells. A lot of times, they, they were a little bit more relaxed with the humor. I really like the cartoon Dells. Big fan of those since I was a kid. And, and these, these TV ones, uh, I find, most of all, for the ones that are um, on based on humor shows, are actually very, very well done. They've got some good sight gags. They do things like little slapstick, almost Three Stooges style. Going through this a little bit quick. But it's an interesting comic. I got it, one of the ones I got in the bargain bin at, uh, a couple weeks ago. Got it for a great price, well under $2. For an older Dell comic, that, that was a steal. So. Yeah, so that's the I'm Dickens He's Fenster. Also, if you want to see other TV comics, technically Terry Toons was a TV show. It was they were cartoons done primarily they were for theater, but they also had had them as uh, regular TV shows. As a kid, I remember watching Deputy Dog. Yeah, I'm just going to go through these a little quicker. There's Deputy Dogs and there's Silly Sydney, the Elephant. These are are very very uh, much slapstick humor. Almost uh, Wiley E. Coyote stuff, um, things like that, where you know 
boulders fall on your head. Dinky Duck. He was an older character. And one of my favorites when I was younger, Hashimoto-san. Quite an interesting cartoon that was. Especially like it when he beat up the cats. He was very, very good at using the jujitsu and the judo on the cats. One nice little one here. Cat pounces on him from behind. Cat ends up on floor. Nice, nice little comic. This is issue number one. And it's from 1960. Also, regarding TV comics, Dell had did quite a lot of Lassie. Lassie and Timmy. For those of you that can remember that far back or saw any of the reruns, this is issue uh, number 47 from 1959. These are actually fairly good issues. They always have some sort of action in them. You know, this one here, basically, Lassie has to save Timmy and other people from a, a tiger that's escaped from the zoo. And there was actually one thing in here that I thought was kind of cute. Yeah, my battery just went dead on my camera, but I just put another one in. There's one thing here I, I thought was very interesting, was both the tiger and Lassie are in the river together. And they're fighting it out. And of course, the tiger should be able to take Lassie, but poor tiger's having a coughing fit. I think that was kind of funny reading that. So, so in the end, Lassie saves the day and makes that tiger move and get back into the cage. Good old Lassie. So I was always doing something like that. Also, uh, anytime there was a problem, you see, with a fire, there was always a fire, it seems like, with Timmy or a well. Lassie would make sure that Timmy got into that river. Okay, got him in the river. And helping Timmy, although Timmy's actually doing some stuff this time too, and throwing buckets of water on the fire, but Lassie, of course, has saved the day. Good old Lassie. Another thing about Lassie that is it went from uh, Dell into Gold Key. And I don't know, I imagine a lot of you realize that a lot of Gold Key comics were reprints of, of original Dells, or they were continuations of Dells. Um, Dell actually went out of business in 1973. This was what I watched when I was a kid, was Lassie and the Forest Ranger. Lassie was still saving the day. It's when he's fighting a forest fire, it looks like. Corralling jewel thieves. Taking out the bad guys. Good old Lassie. Yep, Lassie knocked down the bad guys. Such a hero. Lassie goes on a mercy mission. I hope Ghost Critic is, is enjoying this. I'm going a bit fast, but Lassie was either fighting fires or he was helping somebody in the water. Either wet or hot. One or the other. Fire or rain. Oh, backfire blowout. But these were good adventure stories. Everybody loves dogs. Storylines were pretty straightforward in these Dell comics. They're always enjoyable though. You knew the good guy from the bad guy for the most part. And there's a picture of the real Lassie. Also from the 60s, I really, really think very humorous were the F Troop comics. Nice comedy cover there with Ken Berry, Forrest Tucker, and Larry Storch. This was uh, number three, 1967. Maybe we'll remember this show. And this one is actually a very humorous comic. Scott gave me this comic, my buddy Kusin Bromstar. He knows I like the Dells. I like the TV comics and the, car the cartoons. He gave me a nice Huckleberry Hound, Chuckleberry Tales as well. It's in one of my boxes. But just to show you what the uh, pages look like. The artwork, the artwork is fairly reminiscent of what the characters really look like. Storylines are very similar. I Overall, I have some like Mission Impossible, Garrison Gorillas, other uh, TV comics. I mostly prefer the humorous ones though. Because I, I find they, they take the characters even farther when they're doing the uh, comics. Okay, let's go a little faster. Lots of humor in these ones. Lots of fun. But they were, they were good storylines. Can't say that they were totally realistic to real life, but 
Otherwise, they were always a fun read. The Dell Humor TV comics are, most part, very, very well done to me. I thoroughly enjoy them. Some nice pictures, some good slapstick humor, camels in the desert, out west, the western desert, I guess. There we go. And also, just for Ghost Critic as well, I've got one comic I'd like to show that's also a TV comic. It's a little different than the uh, TV show, is The Outer Limits. This is issue number one. I've had this for quite a few years. It's an interesting comic, as its stories are different than, I believe, what was in the TV show. But they're still basically Outer Limits. They're sci-fi at its finest. Great storylines. This one is about a dimensional vortex being opening up and about missing people who actually have gone into another dimension. It's a good comic and what it, they do is they continue to experiment and I'll just go ahead a few pages and what happens is aliens appear. Are they friendly or are they evil? And so of course humans being humans they'll start shooting first asking questions later and the aliens being that now they're attacked will fight back standard plot line but it turns out in this one that the aliens actually are friendly aliens and I'll just go ahead although they're not quite friendly just yet and they've been kidnapping humans to study them for over hundreds of years and now they realize it's wrong, they want to bring them back, they also want to be sent back to their own dimension. So there's one fellow who wants to be famous decides, okay, he's going to experiment a little bit more, and he brings out the bad aliens. We have our good aliens and our bad aliens. And of course the enemies, they're enemies of the good aliens. So what we have is nice little warfare going on right in downtown New York, so there goes the United Nations building, of course and versus the bad guys, but he comes up with an idea of stopping the bad guys with a ray and he melts the bad guys. You gotta love it. And the good guys, being grateful, decide basically at the end that they're gonna help out and the comic ends with them saying basically that everybody who's been missing for the last century is now back, slightly out of their own time era, but all is safe once again for the world. So that's my little tribute for Ghost Critic. I hope you enjoyed it. So I just want to say thank you to Ghost Critic for his little idea. I hope you enjoyed this short video. And anybody else has got a chance to watch it. And then I'll encourage you to maybe pick up some of these older comics. They're a fun read. There's some good adventure, some good comedy, some good humor. And it's nice that when you can have things that also match up with TV shows you like or cartoons. And I find them very enjoyable. So this is Crom to one and Mo saying thank you for stopping by and have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. We now return control of your television set to you until next week at this same time when the control voice will take you to the outer limit.